Hello everyone, I am Nerdstalgic, and this is another episode of our Let's Play of Dwarf Fortress Trade Ancient. So, yep, in our last video we made some more bedrooms for our new migrants. We're in the process of getting them bedded and doored. Uh, we are also mining out some Cassiterite. We are smelting the says you know aforementioned cassiterite plus tetrahedrite to make bronze for armor so let's see how many bars we have 27 so we're good to start making some more I think we ended up making eight uh, eight units of bronze armor. Let's take a look. Bronze, bristle. We got all this stuff here that's forbidden and for dumping. Why don't we unforbid this stuff? Unforbid. So while I'm thinking about it, uh, in some of my previous videos, I had made the offer. To my viewers that if you want to be a dwarf in my next fortress which um, I think will be happening sooner rather than later uh, we are we have been playing this one for quite some time now oh, so we have 10 bronze plus plate breast plates so we don't need bleep, we don't need any more of those um, it'll probably be coming sooner rather than later just because we've been playing this one for quite a while um, something's either gonna eat us or the FPS is going to kill it down to the point where we can't play anymore. Uh, so if you want to be one of the dwarves uh, in my next Let's Play series, which will start immediately following the end of this one, uh, just leave a comment below the video with your preferred name, and I will uh, edit that dwarf's name in with Dwarf Therapist. And we can see, you know, how you do and the things that you do. And, yeah, we can just keep tabs on you and it can be kind of fun. Um, yeah, so that's the only requirement. That's all you have to do. Um, okay, so let's say now. So let's make, uh, actually, let's go through the manager screen. Again, I make a miscue. And we want to set up a work order for bronze. Let's go for bronze. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's go for bronze um, hmm, leggings. Let's go for bronze leggings. Let's make ten. Ten bronze leggings. Chop chop. When I'm holding this, I feel unstoppable. Oh great, great, good news. And um, let's just look at their supplies and see how they're doing. So they are the colorless ores. Let's just check everybody, just to make sure they've got everything they need. Okay, so this is the armored whiskers. And indeed, they have everything. Leather armor. Fortifications of Urging um, does not have everything. So we're going to have to make some metal stuff for them too. They have a lot of the important pieces. And then the colorless ores looks like they are... Uh, yeah, they're kind of hurting too. So we'll have to make some armor for both of these squads, but that won't be a big deal. We do have a lot of idlers right now. Uh, it's simply because, uh, you know, we just don't have a lot of things necessarily going on at this point. So we can get them busy uh, in some respect just by engraving. So we can set up an engraving job here. And then also we're going to be smoothing on this layer pretty soon. If we go down to our mining layers, we've already mined this one out, so we're we're probably going to oh no we did not we did not come back after we redesignated so we're going to be um, oh, wrong scene we're going to be switching over here to get out some of this uh, some of this stuff here okay So we want to get out these gems that we're finding. Mm 
and then we're going to reset our hotkey to the next layer down because I'm sure there's going to be some gems to get out on that layer too as well as some tetrahedrite. Indeed, looks like we just straight up miss these. For some reason it's not letting me click through here and I don't really understand why. It's not letting me click for the cursor. Might have something to do with the scene, I'm not sure. That's okay. We can just mouse around, or um, I'm sorry, we can just uh, key around here. It's really not that much slower if you know the hotkeys. Which what I'm doing to move my cursor 10 at a time is I'm holding down shift. Okay, I don't see anything that we, there we go, there's some stuff here and here and here not a lot of uh, not a lot of gems really being found in this layer and that's okay we have we have found quite a bit of gems quite a few so we're going to probably need to hit up our jewel crafter and get him to work on cutting some of these okay let's go down to the next uh, level next level some of these next level strats guys all right switching back to scene one all right so what we did here uh is we basically we made a little path and then dug down on the other uh, stairs and the reason that we did this is because if for some reason as we're digging down we hit a cavern layer and we're we are open it's open to um the cavern from the start if we don't find it before we open up into it uh, we don't want to expose ourselves unnecessarily to any kind of beasties now the door if uh, depending on what we find down there the door could still get broken down uh, like a forgotten beast if a forgotten beast came up from the caverns they are building destroyers so they could break down that door and still get in but the idea is uh, for most things the door will work just fine so we're not going to, uh, I don't know if we're going to do any exploratory mining on this level, but we're going to head down and do it on this level. So let's designate some mining here. I do see some tetrahedrite, so it's worth digging out. And away we go. So yeah, I don't see this Let's Play going too much longer. And personally, I think what's going to do it is probably going to be the FPS. That's normally the ender of my games. It's not that I get invaded or anything like that. It's normally the FPS that ends up ending my uh, fortresses. So I don't want to dig through there. We're just going to dig over here. So to that end, we may end up uh, at some point calling it good and going and finding some fun. Because everybody likes fun, right? Everybody likes to see the fun. I like the fun. We will go and find the circus. And I don't mean Andy Circus. We're not going to find Goblin in the caverns. Or maybe we will. Maybe, or Gollum. Maybe, we're, maybe we will find Gollum. Did I say Gollum or did I say Goblin? Something tells me I said Goblin. <laughs> I always get confused when I'm up here because I think this is ore and it's not. Uh, giant wild boar has reverted to a wild state. Interesting. So maybe we domesticated it at some point. And then it reverted back. So I'm sure the animal trainer that we've got assigned to it will deal with the problem. Okay, unpause. Yeah, so he canceled the taming. He's horrified. I wonder if the wild boar attacked. Did it attack somebody? I don't see anything here. It says it attacked. Uh, we still have quite a few idlers roaming about. 
So what we could do to uh, kind of get away from the idlers is we could set up some of the workshops that we don't already have. Uh, we don't have a quern, we don't have a millstone. Uh, siege workshop we're just not going to build. Uh, I don't see any point in building siege weaponry. Uh, dyer's shop we probably will do and a screw press as well so let's go ahead and let's get that dyer's shop set up so i'm going to put it just right down here and we're just going to make it five by whoop, five by five like everything else and yep and then we'll just like put a stockpile over here for dyed thread and the reason that we're doing that is uh, we have our auto loom set to uh, loom only dyed thread and the reason for that is because if you don't set it that way any any unloomed thread automatically gets loomed and then when somebody gets a cut or somebody gets injured and they need sutures you don't have any thread you can't stitch up their wound and then if you can't stitch up their wound it can get infected and uh, yeah they can die it, it can get really bad so you can you know we, we want to avoid that, uh, if at all possible. We want to avoid that. So we'll get that set up. Um, we could also build uh, a screw press. And with the screw press, we can... Ugh, did you see what I did with this thing? We can squeeze rock nuts. <laughs> we can squeeze the nuts. Anyways. Uh, and uh, we can get oil out of that. Um, and there's other things that we can do with the screw press as well. So let's go ahead and floor that in there. Yeah, and I just don't like moss. That's why I'm flooring this out. I've had uh, had a comment like, why, why do you do that? Well, it's because I don't like the look of Apache Room. Yeah, let's use the horse soap. Kind of surprised that stuff's still kicking around, to be honest with you. So we only have three chert. Um, we have 34 chert blocks. Interesting. Kumquat wood logs? No. We're not going to use the coke. Let's, uh, we'll just use this uh, nice. If you hit, and if you hit shift enter there, it'll automatically select however many you need. That was a tip that I got from a subscriber. Thank you very much. So we'll get that set up. We'll get that floor in there first before we um, before we go ahead and set up the dyer's workshop. We can go ahead and put our stockpile down. So we'll put a cloth stockpile just like right here. It doesn't have to be very big. And then we're gonna go back in there and we're going to change the settings on it. And hmm. So the thing I got to think about here is how do I tell it? How do I t how do I basically manage the thread going into uh, the dyer's room? Because if I if I don't you know if I don't manage it, they'll try to die at all, and I don't want them to die at all. So we'll see. Uh, we'll forbid all of this. Yes, we'll, we just want the thread there. Now, I'm wondering, can I use the manager screen? So, can I do like dye? Yep, yeah, I can do dye thread. So, I can look and see how many uh, thread I have, and I can just say, well, I want you to dye, you know, 20 thread. If I've got 30, and that'll leave, you know, 10 thread, which is good. We still have a lot, an awful, awful lot of idlers. I wonder, is auto labor on? It should be on. I think it's on. Yeah, it's on. It is on. Just not enough jobs to go around, I guess, at this point. Just not enough jobs. Okay, let's take a look here. 
it's definitely time to re-up on the jeweler. Blue garnet, that sounds pretty. Okay, good. What about uh, what about our, our bedroom here? Oh, I remember what we were gonna do now. Look at that cluster right there, guys. Uh, so we were going to make another kind of like a meeting hall here. So let's make it uh, let's make it pretty big. Ten by ten is a little small. Let's do ten by fifteen, and we will have it uh, open up here and here. We'll undesignate that, and uh, let's do something sort of uh, well, kind of fancy, not really fancy, but sort of fancy. Let's make some just like some designs here this is just something I you know like when you get bored it's like you know stupid dwarf fortress stuff tricks but like I like little designs like this and then you know what I would do is I would just like set statues in those four corners or something like that you could also do like um, recesses here you know where you dig out like this and like this and then you put statues along here too and just the goal is just to make a room that's like really high value where the dwarves are like oh yeah you could also like put animal cages here like rare animals if you had any which would be pretty bala so let's go ahead and do that we'll just dig out some uh, recesses right there I don't think we need to put any like here just simply because um, well, it'd be kind of hidden, so it's not really a point. Maybe we don't need to do them quite so regularly. Instead of every other one, let's try... Let's try something like this. See how that looks. So that's kind of every three. Yeah, that looks much better. So then, like, uh, what we would do there is we would just, like, put uh, rare animals. So, like, if any trade caravan comes and they have like a really cool rare animal like that giant uh, giant mosquito we could put it in the alcove so all right that's eh, just funny little things you can do we could also try to set up like a well if we wanted to but I don't really wells can be a big pain in the ass this is just what I'm gonna say about that they can be a large pain in your tuchus so I tend to kind of not uh, not do much with wells all right uh, I think they're done uh, done uh, with the done with the engraving up there so let's go ahead and get this smoothed out looks like we've got some uh, bedrooms that we could go ahead and designate so let's get on that before I lest I forget which I do forget things quite often if you've watched any of my other videos you have probably seen me forget things Numerous times in a video, I will think of something, and I'll be in the middle of doing something, and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I'm going to do this instead, and then I completely forget what I was originally trying to do. I think it's just how it works. So. And, hmm. We need to probably go ahead, and I want to set up another hotkey. So this would be F7. And then we hit Z, and then we're going to name it uh, Live 4. And that should be the last one we have to do. Now, our other hotkey needs to be set for here. So this is just going to be Shift F1, and just point of interest is fine. Okay, very good. Now, I did some research about these corpses. You know, I've been complaining about them, like, oh, I wish they'd get rid of the corpses. Blah, blah, blah. But actually, uh, the corpses are not a bad thing, because every time the dwarves go past these corpses, um, it the game makes a check against the dwarves' like uh, discipline. And uh, it's a good way for you to raise the discipline level of dwarves, is, is from what I understand. So that's kind of cool. It's kind of a good thing. To have the dwarves with high discipline makes makes for better uh, fighters, and eventually they'll get over that horrified thing. Like they won't be horrified anymore. They're just like, ah, oh, it's a corpse. I don't care. 
All right, so uh, let's look at our stocks of food. So we have uh, 1,164 prepared meals, and we have uh, drink. We have uh, 1,000 dwarven wine. So I think we're looking pretty good there, wouldn't you say? I guess uh, uh, something we could do to keep people busy uh, would be to make some more farms. So why don't we do that? Why don't we do that? So let's just... Um, I'm thinking, how do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? Well, I guess we could just kind of keep going here. Boom. Let's just, let's just go ahead and... Just open that all up. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to turn that into one ginormous farm. No, that's not what I'm going to do. Um, I'll probably still only make maybe, you know, one or two more of the uh, three by three farms. The reason for that being, I don't want to, um, I don't want to just on the off chance overwhelm my farmer's production or my growers. I don't want them to be so bogged down immediately with trying to plant things that they leave crops in the field and they rot so that is the last thing that I won't so what are you guys doing over here what are you guys doing individual combat drill rest combat drill combat drill okay so they're staying busy they're staying busy that's good Something I like to do a lot uh, with these doors is I like to, and this is just a personal thing. It's one of my little ticks. I don't know what, you know, like the moss thing. It does, uh, does it really matter? I don't think it does. But like, I just, for some reason, when I see, when I look at a barracks and I see animals coming in out of it, it pisses me off. So I just set them to be not pet, pet passable. So what we do is we just, uh, keep it tightly closed that just basically says you know these this cat can't come in there anymore um, we're gonna do the same thing here now we're not gonna be able to do it here because uh, there's this peacock right uh, it's probably this guy's pet yeah so that's why it's hanging out here with him it's because it's his pet so this peacock you know they're sitting there they're doing like archery training and this peacock just hangs out in the room so you know whatever and there here's a baby looks like a a baby, yeah. What's a baby doing in the barracks? That makes no sense. This guy's in the corner. The captain of the guard, he's leading a striking demonstration, but he's in the corner. So I guess he's like taking his axe, because he's a proficient axe dwarf, and he's hitting the wall with his axe. He's like, hey guys, this is how you hit something. Now I don't want to, okay, there they go. Now they're sparring, all right. It's like, this is how you do it, guys. I'm Just watch me while I dull my axe on this wall. All right, let's see how this is going. All right, so it looks like uh, this is looking pretty smashing. Uh, animal traps. Don't we have something in the queue? Okay, no, he made another one. This guy and his traps, he just loves the animal traps. But, you know, there could be worse things for him to love. Could be worse things. He could be like, I love goblets, and then our goblet industry would be like, up in smoke, you know, like Cheech and Chong. Uh, yeah, I'm showing my age. Anyways, uh, and and also my upbringing. Uh, just forget I said that. So let's put some doors here. Put some doors. Planning mode. You know what I'm thinking? You know what I'm thinking here, guys? Where is my cursor? Where did my cursor go? Where's my cursor? I don't see my cursor. Why don't I see my cursor? There's my cursor. I don't know what happened to my cursor there, guys. That's really weird. Here's what I'm thinking. Uh, you know, this we want this place to be pretty, pretty uh, high quality. You know, like a place where they want to come and hang out. So, why don't we tinker around a little bit with like the quality of the doors here? So, we're gonna tell it. Um, oops, that's not what I wanted. We're going to tell it. We want, so we could go all the way up to masterful, right? We want finely crafted. So we don't want the tip top, but we want some finely crafted doors for here. So here, 
and here. We want some finely crafted doors. And then what I'm going to do, because I want to get rid of that stone, but I don't want it to be going outside. So I'm going to utilize the quantum stockpile trick, which is making a garbage dump zone. So we'll just put it like say right here outside of our uh, this is something we've done and we did this in one of the earlier videos but we've disabled it because we wanted to get like some i think like some stinky cheese outside or something that had rotted in a kitchen thanks cook anyways so we're gonna just put a one tile garbage dump here and we hit little d and then boom and then what we do is we go here and we're going to designate all of those rocks with DBD and then we're going to mouse over them so now my mouse mouse uh, clicking is back that's good um, and they're just gonna get brought there and then once all of them are out and up there what we can do is we can undesignate that as a garbage dump but the rocks will stay we'll unforbid them and then uh, yeah it'll be great Plus, it'll be closer. Uh, it'll be closer to the actual workshop, so those guys won't actually—they won't have to come down and get anything. Because uh, uh, it doesn't really look like people are are putting in anything in these stone stockpiles. It's kind of uh, kind of lame. They don't—they don't. You know, the, with the way auto labor works, it's kind of weird. And this is kind of a knock I have on auto labor. And it's probably my fault, really, because most things, when they go wrong in Dwarf Fortress, we we blame, you know, auto labor, or we blame Dwarf Therapist, or we blame, you know, Dwarf Fortress, the game itself. But really what it is, is it's user error. It's because I'm not doing something or getting something set up in the game correctly. So, you know, I'm blaming auto labor for the fact that a lot of this stuff isn't happening the way I want it to happen. But really, if I was... You know better optimized in terms of like stockpiles and things like that I'm willing to bet that it probably would be happening just fine so um, anyways but that is kind of something I've noticed with auto labor versus you know setting up your own labor is that you have a great deal more granularity over you know hey I want somebody to be hauling this stuff so I'm gonna designate this person and that's gonna be their job they're just gonna be a hauler in the fortress the so. season is summer Okay, so it's now summer, and um, normally I like to put a cut in on the, you know, on the change of the seasons just because it makes for a nice natural flow. Um, I don't really think this video has been going on very long though, so I'm going to continue on with this video, and I'm sure you guys have a problem with that. I'm trying to keep my videos between 20 to 30 minutes. Under 20, I feel like it's just too short. Uh, and if it's over 30, I start to worry that it just is a little bit too much to digest in one sitting. And and generally, I think that's kind of the what what most YouTube uh, content creators are going for is just those bite-sized chunks that people can sit down with and enjoy, and then you know come back to later. You know, they can come back to that series later when they have a little bit more time. So, all right, so that kind of, I saw our idlers definitely knocked down pretty quick. Um, I just, they're not, they did dump it. Where did it go? Did they dump it outside? Did they dump it outside? No. And a lot of the things decompose. That's fantastic. Where did they take that stuff to? I don't see it's not out here. Where did they put it? It's a mystery. There's the dump. It's right there, you just can't see it. Is it No, there's nothing there. Did I have did I have another dump set up somewhere else? I don't see them here. Where did you guys put that stuff? I'm going to keep this thing. Well, I don't know. I mean it's out of here, so that's good. That's good. 
But that really makes me curious. You guys, you know how I am. I'm like, I always want to find out what's going on. Like, where did those, where did that stone go? So there's a bunch of that. Okay. It's gone. It's gone somewhere. Is that corpse still over there? <gasps> it's still there. Look at this. It's still there. His corpse is his partial corpse now. So uh, it's it's either slightly decayed or uh, something's been eating it. <laughs> I can't believe that nobody has found that yet. Okay, um, I don't know where that crap went. It's pretty weird. We have gems just sitting out here apparently. Good job. Good job. Good job. Uh, so let's look at this and what why are these just sitting out here don't have enough room maybe in the gym stockpile is that possibly it where's there so this is our gym stockpile right right gyms and finished goods yeah so there's plenty of room I don't know things that make you go what <laughs> Anyways, uh, so we, we've got our farm plots dug out. Um, thankfully, we don't need to floor that. So what's going on here? Do we not have any seeds? It says quarry bushes, no seeds. Is that what we're trying to plant here? No, we've got it uh, set for pigtails. So why why are why is this not uh, not planted? Maybe it is planted. Maybe it's these that aren't planted. Aha! Yes, it is. The quarry bushes. We have no seeds. So that means we need to process uh, some quarry. We need to process some uh, quarry bushes. Right? Let's look. Let's look. So that would be under plants, right? What do we got? We have a hundred. <coughs> oh, excuse me. We have 160 quarry bushes, so we need to process those. Is what needs to happen. So that's at our farmer's workshop. Um, so what happened is we had a job for it, and I guess either he ran out of bags or he just ran out of bushes, and he stopped, and it won't repick it back up. So uh, we're going to be processing plant. What's this? Process plant to bag. Uh, empty, empty bag. Sure. Unrotten bag item producing plants. Well, we have the plants, that's for sure. Uh, empty bag. Do we not have any empty bags? No empty bags? Let's see. Do we have any bags? Bags. Bags, bags, bags. We have a ton of stuff here that's forbidden, and I don't really know why it's forbidden. It could be from the goblins. Let's see. It's tab. We're in search mode. Bag. Bag? Leather. Okay, so search mode I think only works for... Oh. Bag. Cabbage seeds. Let's go through here real quick. Okay. There we go. Boxes and bags. So, cave wheat seeds bag. Okay, we got a bunch of seeds in bags. Sure, quarry bush leaves bag. So, they've put the quarry bush leaves in a bag. Made of pigtail fiber, no less. So, all of those have seeds in them. And I'm guessing all of these have things in them too. So it looks like we're just out of bags. What's going on here? Do we not have enough cloth? We could be out of cloth. We could be out of cloth. Yeah, we're at zero. That tells me we're probably out of cloth. We could make some leather bags. Depending on what our stocks are of leather. I don't know that I really like that idea. I don't typically like uh, using leather for anything but armor. So it'd be hides. Probably already passed it. 
Uh, I'm probably dancing all around it really is what's probably happening. Tan hides. So we have 45 tan hides right now. Hmm. We could make some bags. Uh, what about what about pigtails? What about pigtails? Do we have any pigtails? What about thread? Thread. Let's look at thread. So cloth. What's up with this? It says we have cloth right here. It says we have cloth right here. And we got thread. We got 197 pigtail fiber thread. So why is this... What's going on here, guy? Let's look at our let's look at our uh, our log here and see what's happening. Needs one unused plant cloth, but we have the cloth. It's right here. It's right here. Right? Yeah, it's, it's just right in there. What's going on? Why you why you no make cloth? Plant, is it because it's not plant claw? It's because it's is it because it's spider silk? Because all this is is spider silk. No, it's well, that's animal. Okay. Is there a distinction that the game makes between plant cloth and animal cloth? This is this is a revelation to me. But this is definitely all animal cloth. Let me look at this real quick. I'm gonna pull up the wiki because I'm interested in this. Um, I, you know, it strikes me that I could actually just stop the video uh, and look at it on my own time, but I'm figuring that you guys are, are maybe, you either know already or you might be intrigued as well. So, uh, cloth. We'll just look up cloth and see what happens here. Cloth. Uh, cloth is made at loom, duh. Okay, so t tells us about all different kinds of cloth. Hmm. That's not really telling me anything. Let me see here. Let me just look on Google. Cloth. Uh, can't make clothes with uh, animal cloth dwarf fortress. Okay, there's something here from, from 2013. So what I'm seeing in here, uh, just from searching around on Google, is a lot of people are saying that a lot of the problem is from just binning. The bins make a lot of problems. So they're suggesting um, on your cloth bins, basically, or on your cloth stockpile, to just basically turn off letting bins be here. So let's just go ahead and uh, let's see what happens. Let's turn off, let's go max bin, max bin zero and see what happens. It's probably going to be like a cloth explosion is what I'm guessing. Um, but we'll see. Okay, in the meantime, let's take a gander down here and see what's going on. Was this... Was this the... This wasn't the one we just dug out, but I did just see some gems we missed. Alright, let's switch uh, switch some scenes here and get these beautiful, beautiful um, 
gems out. Perfect. And now this is the, I think this is the one. No, no, it's not. I thought I just reset my point of interest. I thought I did that. So they're still digging. I'm going to let them finish digging before I get busy down here. But I do want to, why is this not set? Shift F1. There. Ah, probably because I didn't hit Z. <laughs> That's what I just, uh, just remembered. I didn't hit Z. All right. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and tell them, hey, let's build some farm plots. Uh, I think I want to keep... Nah, there's not really any point in keeping it three by three. Let's just go ahead and go a biggie. A great biggie. Okay, let them get that going. So what's happening here? Is anything happening? No. Some people said that the hospital uh, can be often be a problem. That the hospital will often... Um, they'll basically bogard all of the cloth if you let them. So, hmm. Okay, human caravan from X Shatter has arrived. I think that's a pretty good place uh, for us to go ahead and put a cut in. And in the next video, we will do business with this caravan. We're going to try to get the cloth conundrum solved. Man, we have a lot of conundrums, don't we? And, yeah. And uh, I guess, uh, yeah, we'll just keep on keeping on. And should get another migration wave pretty soon. And try to keep our idlers busy. Thank you for joining me. And until next time, game on.